Okay, so geometric series formula. So a geometric series is where you take a geometric sequence, uh, 3, 6, 12, 24, multiplying it by 2 each time. But instead of commas, we're adding them together. 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24. Uh, so that's a geometric series. And, and it can go on for as long as you like, and then you figure out what the sum is. Uh, now, let's jump in and... and figure out how to come up with a formula. So first of all, um, let's say the sum of the first n terms is going to be uh, the first term plus the first term times the common ratio plus the next term times the common ratio squared plus the next term times the common ratio uh, oops, times the common ratio cubed dot 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 plus the next term uh, the common ratio n minus 1. Okay, so that's that's what it looks like. Now, I'm going to take that equation and I'm going to multiply both sides by r. So if I do that, I'm going to end up with r um, sn equals a times r plus a times r squared, because I'm multiplying, I'm multiplying everything by r. Uh, and that gives me one more there, and that gives me one more there, dot, dot, dot. And that gives me a r, uh, not to the n minus 1, but to the power of n. Okay, now let's call that equation 1, let's call that equation 2, and let's subtract equation 2 from equation 1. Okay, uh, so equation 2 minus equation 1. If I do that, uh, so I do this minus this, so I get r sn minus sn equals a r minus a. Uh, so that's going to be got really confused there. Lost my train of thought. Um, okay, if I'm going to subtract uh, this one from this one, the way to do it is not to subtract a from ar, but instead join everything up this way. If I do that. The AR, the AR, I subtract one from there, I subtract these from this, I subtract this from this, I subtract this from this, um, and then I subtract this, AR in minus one, from this. Now, uh, what's going to be left over? Well, not very much at all. The only things that are going to be left over are this guy. Um, so, A to the RN. And maybe... Uh, this guy is subtracted from here, uh, but it, it, so it's going to be you know, minus a. So now I have a to the rn minus a equals r to the sn minus sn. Um, now, what can I do here? I can factorize both left and right, because this has a common factor of the sum of n, uh, and I get r minus 1 here. And this has a common factor of a, uh, and I'll get uh, r to the n minus 1. And finally, if I want to know what the sum of n is, which is what this whole geometric series formula does, it tells you what the sum of all of the numbers are, and I can say that the sum of n equals a to the rn minus 1 over r minus 1. Okay. Um, now, that's a proof that uh, this formula is the geometric series formula. The sum of all the numbers is equal to a times r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. So, there's our proof. That's why it works. You don't need to worry too much about why it works, but there is the formula that you're going to use. The last thing I really need to say is that this formula is useful, uh, but you might also find the equivalent formula useful. Sn equals a um, to the 1 minus Rn over 1 minus R. Now, important to note, these formulas are the same. Yeah, they might not look the same, but once you rearrange it and muck around with it, I can prove it to you if you like. Um, now, generally, it's more useful to use this formula if... Uh, well, actually, it's more useful to use this formula if R is uh, between negative 1 and 1. So if r is like negative 0 0.5 or positive 0 0.5 or 0 0.9 or negative 0 0.9, somewhere between that. 
uh, and you use this formula for everything else. R is 3, 4, 5, R is negative 7, negative 12, negative 100. Um, so use that formula between negative 1 and 1, use that formula for the other stuff. Uh, you can use either formula for, for both of those, it's just that this one ends up slightly neater most of the time if you use this formula instead of that one. Okay, that's uh, the geometric series formula. Very quick video, geometric series formula, there it is. Uh, I'm going to find the sum of the first 10 terms of a geometric sequence with a first term of 4 and a common ratio of 1.3. So, sum of the first 10 terms is equal to the first term, 4, uh, times r, the common ratio, to the power of n, which is 10, um, minus 1. Be careful here, it's not like the, the sequence formula where it's n minus 1 as a power, it's r to the n, and then minus 1 on the n. Okay, and then finally it's r minus 1, uh, so 1.3 minus 1. Uh, now, this happens quite a bit, so 1.3 minus 1 is just 0.3. Calculator answer. End up with a really ugly decimal here. It's 170.4, uh, well, let's just round to two decimal places, 4, 8. Uh, very ugly decimal because we're multiplying by a, by a 1.3. 1.3 to the power of 10 is going to be a really disgusting number. Um, and each of our terms is sort of, it gets uglier as we go. It's going to be 4, and then the next term is going to be uh, 5.2, and then the next term is going to be um, 6.76. So that's why we end up with such a, a gross uh, decimal. All right, that's the geometric series formula. Very, very straightforward. Just to be really clear, that's what it's doing. 4 plus 5.2 plus 6.76 plus 8.7888 dot 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 plus the tenth term, which is 42.47.4.42.417.99749 equals 170.48. Approximately, approximately. Okay, that's what it's doing. Geometric series formula.